The Harappan Civilization, also known as the Indus Valley Civilization IVC, stands as one of the most remarkable and enigmatic ancient cultures in human history. Emerging around 3300 BCE, this civilization thrived in the vast floodplains of the Indus River, encompassing parts of modern-day Pakistan and northwest India. It was contemporaneous with other early civilizations such as ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia, yet its unique achievements set it apart. At its zenith, the Harappan civilization boasted some of the largest urban centers of the ancient world, including Harappa, Mohenjo-Daro, and Dolavira, which served as hubs of trade, culture, and technological innovation. In addition to its urban achievements, the Harappan civilization is also notable for its art, craftsmanship, and perhaps most intriguingly, its undeciphered script. Though much remains a mystery about this ancient civilization, it has left an indelible mark on the early history of human civilization. The study of the Harappan civilization sheds light on the development of early urban life, societal organization, and the technological prowess of a people who lived thousands of years ago, yet whose achievements continue to captivate the world. The rediscovery of the Harappan civilization in the 19th century marked a pivotal moment in the field of archaeology. Although the ruins of the civilization had long been known to local populations, it was only in the 1800s that the significance of these remains came to the attention of Western scholars. The initial discovery occurred in the early 19th century when British engineers and officers stumbled upon ancient cities in the region while conducting surveys. However, it was not until 1921 that the civilization was officially recognized through systematic excavations led by the British archaeologist Sir Mortimer Wheeler and Indian archaeologist Daya Ram Sani. The name, Harappan, was coined after the excavation of the site of Harappa in modern-day Pakistan, one of the first cities to be unearthed. Harappa, along with its counterpart Mohenjo-Daro, became the focal points of archaeological interest. The systematic digs revealed a thriving, advanced urban culture that appeared to have developed independently of the known ancient civilizations of Egypt and Mesopotamia. As excavations progressed, scholars began to identify a pattern of urbanization, suggesting that the civilization had a well-organized political and economic system. Key to the identification of the Harappan civilization was the discovery of seals, inscribed pottery, and figurines suggesting a complex society with a possible writing system. Although the exact nature of the Harappan script remains a mystery, its use on seals and artifacts indicated a society with some form of standardized communication, possibly tied to trade or administration. The civilization flourished from around 3300 BCE to 1300 BCE. During this period, the Harappans established major urban centers that displayed remarkable consistency in their layout and organization, suggesting a centralized form of governance or a highly coordinated societal structure. The civilization's peak came during the mature Harappan phase, around 2600 BCE to 1900 BCE, when cities like Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa saw significant growth and technological advancement. The Harappan civilization flourished in the fertile plains of the Indus River, one of the longest rivers in the world, which flows through present-day Pakistan and northwest India. The Indus River played a crucial role in the civilization's development by providing abundant water for irrigation, agriculture, and transportation. The river's seasonal floods deposited nutrient-rich silt onto the land, ensuring that the surrounding region remained fertile for farming. The Harappans cultivated wheat, barley, and cotton, which were staples of their diet and crucial to their economy. Additionally, the Indus served as an important transportation route, facilitating trade both within the Harappan core and with distant regions such as Mesopotamia, Persia, and the Arabian Peninsula. This geographic advantage allowed the Harappans to become an integral part of a vast trade network. City layouts in Harappan settlements are among the most remarkable features of this ancient civilization. The cities of Harappa, Mohenjo-Daro, and Dolavira were meticulously planned, with an organized, grid-like street system that was highly advanced for its time. The streets were arranged in a regular, rectangular grid pattern, dividing the cities into blocks that could easily be navigated. The main roads were wide and often ran north-south or east-west, while smaller lanes connected residential and public areas. This grid-based layout not only suggests a high level of urban planning but also the presence of a centralized authority or a collective effort to design functional, well-organized cities. 
One of the most striking features of the urban planning was the sophisticated drainage system. The Harappans constructed covered drains along the streets, which carried wastewater away from the residential areas and into larger sewer systems. Each house was connected to the drainage network, demonstrating a concern for sanitation and public health. In fact, the drainage systems in Harappan cities were more advanced than many contemporary civilizations, suggesting a deep understanding of water management. Architecture in the Harappan civilization also reflects a highly organized and pragmatic society. The Harappans primarily used mud bricks for construction, which were abundant and durable, making them ideal for building sturdy structures. The granaries found in multiple Harappan sites were large, raised platforms used for storing surplus grains, indicating that agriculture was central to the economy. The public baths, such as the Great Bath at Mohenjo-daro, suggest that water had a significant role in religious or social activities, possibly linked to ritual purification. These baths, with their advanced water-type brickwork, were among the earliest examples of large public waterworks, reinforcing the Harappans' expertise in hydraulic engineering. The Harappan civilization was characterized by a society that, at first glance, appears to have lacked a rigid class structure, a feature that differentiates it from many other ancient civilizations. There is little evidence of monumental palaces, grand tombs, or large-scale statues dedicated to kings or rulers. Instead, the civilization seems to have been organized in a way that was relatively egalitarian. Archaeological findings, such as residential dwellings, do not show significant disparity in terms of size or quality between the homes of common people and those of elites. This suggests that the Harappans may have had a more fluid social hierarchy, one that was perhaps less pronounced than those in ancient Egypt or Mesopotamia. Daily life in Harappa was centered around practical, community-oriented activities. The Harappans were skilled farmers, traders, and craftsmen. They engaged in agriculture, cultivating wheat, barley, and rice, while also tending to livestock such as cattle, goats, and sheep. In addition, they were known for their expertise in textile production, particularly the cultivation of cotton, which is believed to have been one of the earliest uses of this crop in the world. Artifacts from Harappan sites provide insights into their daily life. Pottery, both functional and decorative, was found in abundance, with intricate designs painted on vessels, suggesting a refined sense of aesthetics. The Harappans also made toys, such as small clay animals and figures, which could have been used for children's play or perhaps for religious rituals. Tools made of copper, bronze, and stone were used in a variety of activities, from crafting goods to agricultural work. The role of religion in Harappan society remains somewhat obscure due to the lack of written records. However, religious beliefs are thought to have been an important aspect of their culture, based on the numerous figurines and objects related to fertility and worship found at Harappan sites. The most notable of these is the so-called, mother goddess, figurines, which may have represented a deity associated with fertility and the earth. These figures, along with the presence of small altars and religious symbols, suggest that the Harappans practiced a form of animistic or polytheistic religion. The Harappan script, though still undeciphered, is another important element of their religious and cultural life. Inscriptions on seals and tablets feature symbols that may represent religious or administrative records, possibly related to trade and governance. The fact that the script has not been definitively translated leaves many questions unanswered about the Harappans' communication methods and the role of writing in their society. The economy of the Harappan civilization was multifaceted and highly sophisticated, with agriculture serving as the backbone. The fertile lands surrounding the Indus River were ideal for farming, allowing the Harappans to cultivate a variety of crops that sustained their population and facilitated trade. Wheat and barley were staple crops, forming the basis of the Harappan diet, while cotton, one of the earliest known uses of the crop, was cultivated and likely spun into textiles. The role of irrigation systems in Harappan agriculture was crucial, as the region's agricultural success relied on the seasonal flooding of the Indus River. Archaeological evidence suggests that the Harappans developed a variety of irrigation techniques, including canals and water storage systems, to ensure a steady water supply for their crops. The presence of large granaries in key Harappan cities indicates not only an efficient agricultural system but also the ability to store surplus crops which were likely used to support the growing urban centers and trade networks. 
Trade played a significant role in the Harappan economy, both for internal exchanges within the civilization and for long-distance trade with neighboring regions. The Harappans traded goods with distant lands, including Mesopotamia, Central Asia, and other regions within the Indian subcontinent. Archaeological findings at sites like Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa show evidence of trade connections, such as goods made from materials that originated outside the Harappan region. For instance, lapis lazuli, which was highly prized in Mesopotamian and Harappan societies, was imported from Afghanistan, while Harappan seals and beads have been found in Mesopotamia suggesting an active exchange of goods and culture. One of the key features of Harappan trade was the use of standardized weights and measures, which allowed for a regulated system of commerce. Excavations have uncovered small, standardized weights made of materials such as stone and bronze. These weights were likely used in the measurement of commodities like grain, copper, and textiles. The use of uniform weights points to a high level of organization and regulation in trade, ensuring fairness and reducing disputes. The craft industries of the Harappans were another integral part of the economy, with production catering both to local consumption and trade. Bead making was a prominent industry, with thousands of beads found across Harappan sites. These beads were crafted from a variety of materials, including semi-precious stones, glass, and metals, and were used in jewelry, amulets, and other decorative items. Textiles also played a significant role in Harappan craft industries, particularly the weaving of cotton, which was an important export commodity. Metalworking, particularly in copper and bronze, was another significant craft. The Harappans were skilled in metallurgy, producing tools, weapons, and ornaments. They also worked with precious metals like gold and silver, highlighting their advanced knowledge of metal extraction and alloying. The Indus script, used by the Harappans, remains one of the most intriguing and enigmatic aspects of the civilization. Unlike many ancient writing systems, the Indus script is not yet fully deciphered, making it difficult to understand the intricacies of Harappan administration, culture, and communication. The script consists of symbols that appear on various materials, including seals, pottery, and tablets. The symbols are predominantly pictographic, depicting animals, human figures, and abstract shapes, though the exact meanings of these symbols remain a mystery. Scholars have debated whether the script represents an actual language or whether it functions more as a form of ideographic writing, where symbols stand for ideas or concepts rather than phonetic sounds. The seal inscriptions are among the most common examples of the Indus script. Seals were made of steatite and often depicted a central figure, usually an animal or a human-like deity, surrounded by script. These seals have been found at many sites throughout the Indus Valley, as well as in regions such as Mesopotamia, suggesting that the Harappans used the script for administrative purposes, likely in trade or religious practices. The consistent use of these seals across such vast distances points to the possibility of a well-organized bureaucracy or administrative system, though we cannot be certain about the specifics due to the lack of decipherable text. The debate surrounding the decipherment of the Indus script has been ongoing for over a century. Numerous scholars have proposed different theories about the nature of the writing, ranging from linguistic hypotheses to suggestions that the script is simply a form of symbolic communication. One prominent theory posits that the script may be related to languages spoken in the ancient Indian subcontinent, such as Dravidian, Munda, or even Sanskrit. However, the lack of a bilingual inscription, such as the Rosetta Stone for Egyptian hieroglyphs, has made decipherment exceedingly difficult. Some linguists have tried to compare the symbols of the Indus script with other ancient writing systems, hoping to uncover linguistic patterns or similarities that could help in understanding the script. However, no consensus has been reached, and many scholars now consider the Harappan writing system to be unique, possibly belonging to a lost language that has no direct connection to any modern language. The Harappan civilization was not only remarkable for its urban sophistication and economic achievements but also for its impressive science and technology. The Harappans made significant advancements in areas such as engineering, urban planning, metallurgy, and water management, which contributed to their ability to thrive in the challenging environment of the Indus River Valley. Innovations in Engineering one of the most outstanding feats of Harappan engineering is their hydraulic systems, particularly their drainage networks. Both Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro, two of the civilization's most prominent cities, 
displayed a level of urban planning that was unparalleled in the ancient world. The cities were equipped with sophisticated drainage systems, with homes and public spaces connected to these systems via brick-lined drains. The quality of this drainage network is remarkable, with large, covered drains running along the streets, which is evidence of a keen understanding of public health and sanitation. The presence of public baths, especially the Great Bath at Mohenjo-Daro, further emphasizes their mastery of water management. This large, well-constructed bath, made of finely cut bricks and designed with efficient water supply and drainage systems, could have had a ceremonial or ritualistic purpose, reflecting the importance of water in Harappan culture. Urban Planning and Infrastructure The urban planning of Harappan cities reflects a high degree of organization and foresight. Cities were laid out according to a grid pattern, with streets aligned in precise north-south and east-west orientations, a feature that is still admired today. The grid system facilitated smooth traffic flow and organized urban life. The Harappans also standardized the size of their bricks, a remarkable achievement that promoted uniform construction across different regions of the civilization. The consistent brick sizes used throughout the cities likely aided in the creation of durable and reliable structures, from homes to public buildings. The streets were often paved, and evidence suggests that the Harappans were well-versed in creating efficient roadways and urban infrastructure that ensured the smooth functioning of city life. Technology and Crafting The Harappans were skilled craftsmen, particularly in the fields of metallurgy, beadmaking, and pottery. Harappan metallurgists mastered the use of copper, bronze, gold, and silver, creating tools, weapons, and jewelry with advanced techniques. The Harappans are particularly known for their bronze work, which they used to create a variety of tools, weapons, and decorative objects. Their craftsmanship in bead making is notable, as they produced intricate beads from materials like semi-precious stones, glass, and shells. These beads were often traded and were likely used in personal adornment or ceremonial contexts. Similarly, Harappan pottery displayed exceptional skill, with finely made, wheel-thrown pots and painted designs, often with geometric patterns and motifs. The decline of the Harappan civilization, which occurred around 1300 BCE, remains one of the most debated and mysterious aspects of its history. Despite its remarkable achievements, the civilization saw a sharp decline, with the major cities of Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro being abandoned or experiencing a significant reduction in size and influence. Multiple theories have been proposed to explain this collapse, with some focusing on environmental factors, while others suggest invasion or internal decline as possible causes. Possible causes of decline One of the most widely discussed theories for the decline of the Harappan civilization is related to climatic changes. Shifts in the monsoon patterns are believed to have had a profound impact on the region's agricultural systems. The Indus Valley, dependent on monsoon rains for irrigation, could have experienced decreased rainfall or changed monsoon cycles, leading to crop failure and the eventual collapse of local economies. Furthermore, the drying up of rivers, particularly the Sarasvati River, which once flowed alongside the Indus, could have led to the loss of vital water sources for both agriculture and transportation. Evidence of sedimentation and river shifts suggests that the once abundant river systems were gradually reduced, making it increasingly difficult to sustain urban populations. Another theory posits that the over-exploitation of resources might have played a role in the collapse. The Harappans, who were skilled in metallurgy and extensive trade, may have exhausted local resources like timber, copper, and precious stones. Such depletion could have triggered a collapse of trade networks and contributed to the deterioration of the urban centers. Collapse of major cities The decline of cities like Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa occurred around 1300 BCE. Excavations of these cities show evidence of significant changes during this period. In Mohenjo-Daro, for instance, the Great Bath was abandoned, and the well-planned streets were neglected. Residential buildings show signs of damage, possibly from flooding, earthquakes, or other disturbances. The decline of these cities may also reflect broader shifts in trade patterns, with the Harappans losing their economic and strategic importance as trade routes shifted. Environmental and Ecological Factors Evidence from the archaeological record points to environmental stress as a contributing factor to the decline of the Harappan civilization. In addition to changes in the monsoon, 
the river systems that once supported the cities began to dry up or alter their course. The Sarasvati River, a once mighty river mentioned in ancient texts, is thought to have disappeared due to tectonic changes, leaving the region with less reliable water sources. The drying up of these rivers would have severely disrupted agriculture, leading to food shortages and possibly contributing to the collapse of urban centers. The Harappan civilization has left a profound legacy that continues to shape the cultural and historical landscapes of South Asia. Despite its decline over 3,000 years ago, its influence can still be seen in the urban planning, craftsmanship, and trade practices of subsequent cultures. Additionally, the ongoing archaeological study of Harappan sites remains vital for understanding early human civilization and its connection to modern societies. Cultural Legacy One of the most enduring aspects of the Harappan legacy is its influence on urban planning in the Indian subcontinent. The grid layout of Harappan cities, with their systematic streets and drainage systems, set a precedent for the well-organized cities that would later emerge in South Asia. The advanced drainage systems, which featured covered drains and separate sewage systems, were echoed in subsequent urban developments in India, such as the cities of the Maurya and Gupta periods. The Harappans were also known for their exceptional craftsmanship, which had a lasting impact on South Asian art and industry. The bead-making techniques, pottery styles, and bronze work of the Harappan civilization were passed down through generations, influencing later cultures in the Indian subcontinent. The Harappan's sophisticated trade practices also laid the foundation for commercial networks that would span across South Asia and beyond, continuing to influence the economies of later civilizations, including the Mauryan Empire and Gupta Empire. The Harappans' material culture, including their jewelry, seals, and pottery, continued to be admired and emulated in later Indian societies. Their legacy of metalworking and the crafting of objects from precious stones, beads, and ceramics influenced the artistic traditions of various South Asian kingdoms. Archaeological Significance The Harappan archaeological sites are invaluable resources for understanding early civilizations. Excavations of sites like Mohenjo-Daro, Harappa, and Dolavira have provided rich insights into the urbanization, trade, and technological innovations of the Harappan people. These sites continue to play a crucial role in archaeology, offering evidence of how early societies adapted to their environment, organized their urban centers, and engaged in long-distance trade. The meticulous planning of Harappan cities, including their standardization of brick sizes, reflects the highly organized nature of their society. Furthermore, the discovery of Harappan seals, which are thought to have been used for administrative and trade purposes, provides key clues about the complexity of Harappan governance and commerce. Despite the mystery surrounding their script, these seals and other artifacts continue to intrigue archaeologists, helping to build a more comprehensive understanding of the civilization's economic and social structures. The Harappan civilization's significance is also reflected in its influence on global heritage. It is recognized as one of the cradles of human civilization, on par with other ancient cultures like Mesopotamia and Egypt. The preservation of these archaeological sites as UNESCO World Heritage Sites, such as Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa, ensures their continued importance in the global historical narrative. Contemporary Interest In modern South Asia, the legacy of the Harappan civilization is not only of archaeological interest but also holds cultural significance. The Harappans' advancements in technology, particularly their water management systems, continue to inspire contemporary engineers and urban planners. Modern interest in ancient technologies, especially in the context of sustainable urban living and water conservation, finds echoes in Harappan achievements. Despite the remarkable discoveries about the Harappan civilization, many aspects of its history, society, and eventual decline remain shrouded in mystery and controversy. Scholars continue to debate the meaning of the Harappan script, the civilization's role in the broader narrative of ancient history, and the true cause of its collapse. The absence of monumental palaces, a clear centralized governance structure, and uncertainties about religious practices add to the intrigue and challenge our understanding of this enigmatic civilization. Decipherment of the script One of the most significant controversies surrounding the Harappan civilization is the mystery of the Indus script. This pictographic writing system, which appears on seals, pottery, and other artifacts, remains undeciphered, despite numerous attempts by linguists and archaeologists. 
Unlike the scripts of contemporary civilizations, such as cuneiform or hieroglyphics, the Indus script has not been conclusively linked to any known language. Various theories about its origin and purpose have been proposed, but none have been universally accepted. Some scholars believe the script was primarily used for administrative purposes, possibly related to trade or social organization, while others speculate it may have had a ritualistic or religious function. The absence of bilingual inscriptions, like the Rosetta Stone for Egyptian hieroglyphs, has hindered efforts to crack the code, leaving the Indus script as one of the most intriguing puzzles of ancient history. Theories of Aryan Invasion versus Indigenous Development Another long-standing controversy is the debate over the Aryan Invasion Theory, which posits that the collapse of the Harappan civilization was due to the arrival of Indo-Aryan peoples who brought with them new technologies, weapons, and social structures. According to this theory, the Indo-Aryans overran the Harappans, leading to the decline of their cities and the eventual emergence of Vedic culture. However, this theory has been widely criticized in recent years. Archaeological evidence does not support the idea of a violent invasion. Rather, some scholars suggest that the Harappan decline was a result of environmental factors such as climate change, shifting river courses, and resource depletion. Others argue that the collapse was due to internal factors, including social upheaval and economic breakdown, rather than the arrival of foreign invaders. The debate over the Aryan invasion continues to influence our understanding of ancient Indian history and the origins of Vedic culture. Unresolved Mysteries Several other aspects of the Harappan civilization remain unresolved. For example, the absence of monumental palaces or temples suggests that the Harappans may not have had the centralized political structures typically associated with ancient civilizations. Unlike the grand palaces and temples of Egypt or Mesopotamia, Harappan cities lacked large-scale religious or political buildings. This has led some scholars to speculate that the Harappans had a form of governance that was either more egalitarian or less focused on monumental architecture. The Harappan civilization remains one of the most fascinating and influential ancient cultures in human history. Despite its decline over 3,000 years ago, the remarkable achievements of the Harappans in urban planning, technology, and trade continue to resonate through the ages. Their well-planned cities, characterized by grid layouts, advanced drainage systems, and standardized brick sizes, set a precedent for future urban developments in South Asia. The Harappans' mastery of engineering, evident in their water management systems, including wells, tanks, and sophisticated drainage networks, showcases a sophisticated understanding of sanitation and urban infrastructure. In the realm of craftsmanship and trade, the Harappans excelled in producing goods such as pottery, beads, textiles, and metalwork, which were traded across vast distances. Their trade connections spanned regions as far as Mesopotamia and Central Asia, indicating a thriving commercial network. The civilization's use of standardized weights and measures facilitated these transactions, providing a glimpse into a highly organized and interconnected society. The Harappans also left behind a rich legacy of cultural and material artifacts, such as their intricate jewelry, seals, and pottery, which have been integral in understanding their daily life and social structure. In conclusion, the Harappan civilization provides an essential link in the broader narrative of human history. Its advancements in technology, urban planning, and trade laid the foundation for modern-day South Asian societies and offer crucial insights into the development of early civilizations. Studying the Harappans not only helps us understand the roots of South Asian culture but also contributes to the broader understanding of human innovation and societal progress.